A quick little information dump before we get started, post-recording. When Maraluna is active, it's as if you were riding Maraluna. Essentially, she's CC immune completely, so you don't actually need Prime Show footed unless you're gonna uh, be in between Marilunas, which I still would recommend it, as well as um, Handspring as well. As well as the fact that she can use her abilities while she is um moving the last piece of information is this maraduna cannot take damage directly you have to get hit uh, in your your rally in order for it to damage maraduna because in actuality when they were having issues uh, balancing it that's part of what k drives like big thing was is that maraduna herself would get hit and you would get hit since you're technically playing as Maraduna when uh, you're riding her, right? So they made it to where Maraduna is completely immune to damage unless you hit your rally. So essentially, to sum it up, you can move, you are CC immune, and um, you have to get hit in the your rally the in order to take damage. To fall into Lotus, check navigation for active invasions. I don't care about your invasions. I'm in the middle of a video, you dumb bitch. All right, my delicious, delicious people. Welcome to a nice little review of Maraduna's new augment, Loyal Maraduna. Loyal Maraduna is a Yorodi augment that affects the second ability. It's one of, I think, two of them. And it essentially allows you to use Maraluna as a pet. It, she also tends to throw uh, bubbles at people, which is the first ability, which means you can actually go and put something else on this, say Eclipse, for more damage reduction. Speaking of more damage reduction, I have a mechanic that I would like to show you that not a lot of people would talk about. So, the mechanic I was talking about is actually quite interesting. So, Maraduna cannot be affected by, uh, what are they called? Mods. Sorry, my brain exploded. But anyway, the Maraduna cannot be affected by mods whatsoever. But, she can be affected by Archon Shards. This allows Maraduna with two Archon Shards to reach a damage reduction of 62%. On top of the fact that it also splits the damage between your rally and Maraduna, to where Maraduna is taking 90% of the damage. Plus, if you were to include Eclipse in that, you actually have not one, not two, and it's especially not three if you have Adaptation, but four different damage reductions stacking on top of each other. Meaning that you will basically not take any damage as long as you have uh, your first ability being Eclipse. Plus, the fact that you don't have to subsume over Maraduna anymore means that you can subsume over the 1, as the 1 is actually one of your ready's best abilities, but it's automatically happening. Meaning that if you were to use the Crist, say a melee for influence, uh, here's the build for that, of course. You will actually end up being able to do more damage to all the enemies around that enemy because you're doing a lot of status procs that are also really, really high in level as you'll be doing increased damage due to damage vulnerability. Making it to where that specific enemy, if it just so happens to be a really tanky enemy, can be used as kind of a stat stick sort of thing in order to take out all the enemies around that specific enemy. Alright, so I decided to combine this together with a build video, so you should be seeing some pretty good gameplay on your screen right now. But essentially, uh, 
Yoredi basically has the ability to use all of her weapons. Secondaries are really good for nuking Acolytes if you decide to go with the Spore Laser. But in my experience testing it when I first got the Augment, the build that I'm showing you right now is extremely good. It is basically that rifle, I forget what the name is, but um, it can equip a mod that allows you to say, Hey, I would like to armor strip with dagger damage. And then you use a dagger, being the Chris Prime, which is probably one of my favorite daggers in the game. And you essentially just to say, Everybody around me just doesn't exist anymore. I also have the Nautilus because this is going to be a setup that is very much reliant on a lot of different things. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is going to be one of the most tediously put together builds because I have to have very specific setup in order to get this really good. Keeping in mind, you can do whatever you want with this build, this is just what I prefer. Now being able to have a true melee Yorelli. Here's the build. Alright, so first things first, we are going to be using two Archon Shards that are mainly going to be here, but keep in mind that you will be, uh, if you want to copy this build, you're going to need a lot of Talforge stuff. But, with a new uh, fusion, you'll be able to do that very easily. We essentially need two armor shards, and we want four purple shards on the melee damage, and making sure that we make our energy as high as we can. So we go over here, auger secrets for shield gating as well as some power strength, alongside all three umber mods. Umber, uh, we'll also be using Primed Flow to get our energy to 855. Loyal Maraluna, of course. Steel Shards, because we will be using melee. We'll be using Prime Surefooted. But, keep in mind, if you don't have Prime Surefooted, it's actually a really good idea to put Handspring. Handspring is a really good uh, substitute if you don't have it. We're using Adaptation to put a modded damage reduction on top of the ability damage reduction and the damage split, making it to where we are basically unkillable unless we were to go to high, the highest levels in the game. But, yeah, I don't think I feel like doing that, so that's up, up to you, definitely. But I've seen it po uh, happen with her before, so it is possible. We'll be using Rolling Guard, as it's very important that we... Uh, basically have as much survivability as possible, and our stats are as follows. Duration 100, Efficiency 100, Range 100, and Strength 100, with Eclipse being our subsumed ability over the 1, going up to 60.3%, which you should call it 60, as it's much easier that way. And yeah, it's very, very, very nice. If you were to make any adjustments, I would suggest putting some continuity here in order to make it to where you could definitely uh, do Eclipse and not and not have to think about it too much, as it is a little bit tedious to keep it up all the time. We'll be using Arcane Grace for healing for your buddy herself, and Arcane Blessing because Grace and Blessing go together. Making it to where uh, you'll be basically immortal as long as Maraloon is up. And if you manage to pay attention. and Or if you manage to have a really, really, really good weapon. If you decide to go with this build. Then yeah, it tends to be really, really good. Yeah. And yeah. That's the build. Alright. So there's the augment. And I would like to share with you some... Pretty cool tidbit. People would say, oh, this is kind of a betrayal of Yoredi as it's taking away her thing. To that, I would say, we Yoredi mains are a lot more logical than we think, when you would think we are. And we actually said, hey, if people don't like Maraluna, then why not just make it to where we have Maraluna as a pet that fires the first ability and makes it to where... It's just allowing you to move around like a regular Warframe. 
This is literally word for word exactly what we wanted, including the fact that it keeps the damage reduction. So it's not necessarily betrayal at all, really. It's actually more of they threw us a bone and we are just chewing the shit out of that bone because even a couple of other people who were interested in Yoredi who did not want her have actually been, you know, farming one. There's been a lot of people who started farming one after I announced to my Discord that this augment is going to be a thing. There's a bunch of people with them, so yeah, that's cool. Essentially, you have no excuses anymore. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Victory is mine! So remember to have wonderful, wonderful nightmares. I will see you in them. And remember, if you're watching my content, I know you're into it. Honey, honey. Mwah. Good night.